Welcome back. Chad and Janice here, the Big Ski family. Yep. We're gonna uh, we're gonna tackle the topic of transparency. One hundred percent is the goal. Is it easy? <laughs> you tell me. Transparency is hard. It takes a lot of courage, but the um, the outcome and is so rich. It's critical. Yeah. It's absolutely critical, right? And one of the things that when we talk to newlyweds in particular is um, the goal in marriage is intimacy. It's being known fully and knowing fully and mm -hmm. loving in spite of it, okay? Mm -hmm. and, and, that, and we're dealing with very imperfect people, mm -hmm. right? I come to life in marriage with my own weaknesses, we insecurities, yep. sin, shortcoming, failures, mm -hmm. all the p past, mm -hmm. and you come into a relationship and you bring that all with you. And there's a tendency to kind of say, hey, I'm gonna seal off parts of me, parts of my history, parts of my life, parts of my insecurity, and I'm not gonna share that because it's vulnerable and it's dangerous and it's, I feel maybe guilt or shame or just I feel sensitive or I feel embarrassed or I feel insecure about it. And yet we've had this goal, mm -hmm. I, I think, of 100%. 100% transparency and honesty about everything. And that's a goal. Yeah. And you can't get there day one if you haven't been living this way. Know that. It's not a switch that you flip. You can't sit down and say, okay, great. Let's just be 100% because often there's not a maturity uh, able to handle that. Maybe there's not a, um, a practice of listening well and receiving and forgiving. And these are things that the Lord wants to grow us in though. Yeah. And so the goal being 100%, all we're looking for today is 1% better today, 1% more transparent today. Progress, not perfection. <laughs> it's a big <laughs> mantra in our life is progress, not perfection, right? And so we don't sit there and measure itself to the ideal, oh, I gotta have 100%. But I, I wanna give you a picture real quick that we share with newlyweds. And if you've ever seen an animal skin, you know, like a rug, like a bear skin rug or something, um, when you skin an animal, they, they basically cut up all the, 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 you know, the body open, they flay it all out, take it, scrape the skin, and they literally go to every digit, every part of the body, because if something is left closed, um, it rots. And it's the same way we find with- Begins to stink. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it begins to color everything around it and, and it impacts the relationship. And so our goal, like I said, is to over time get to that place 100% relationship and we're gonna like we shared before we're gonna share a little communication model that will help unwrap that but you've got to have the goal of that and mm -hmm. you can start literally by right now today going to your loved one and your spouse and saying hey I want to be 100% transparent with you that's mm -hmm. my goal and I'm not able to 100% maybe today but that is my heart and I want you to know my heart in this and I would hope that your heart would be at the same place. Would you join with me in praying that we can be 100% open and transparent, vulnerable um, with one another and, and do that in a safe way? And that's the key word to vulnerability. Being in a safe spot. Yeah, it could, because it's gonna get more painful. It, you know, it's like dressing a wound. You know, you've gotta get in there and I can't tell you how many wounds of our children we've had to scrub out and get all the dirt out but then once the dirt is out then you can start to heal that's right and so there probably will be lots of tears and brokenness but after that conversation it feels so good because you're like i'm known my spouse understands me yeah. he's forgiven me or yeah. you know and coming to that place of just grace and yes you know god's example to us of forgiving us while we were yet sinners christ died he didn't do it after we were all fixed up. He did it while we were yet a sinner. And so it's beautiful. just that forgiveness and um, then the healing can can take place after that. And you can get closer in intimacy and that's what happens. That's it's exactly what It's a beautiful thing. It's an awesome thing. And you, you hit on such an important part that being, being a safe place for one another, I know that I can at times not be a safe place for Janice in the sense that if she tells me something that isn't pleasing for me to hear, or it's hard for me to hear whatever hurts, I can react. And if I react and become unsafe for her, it naturally is gonna shut her down. She's not gonna be able to confide. She's not gonna be able to go further. And if I, on the contrary, am saying, Lord, let me receive, let me listen, let me have the grace to 
uh, be that safe place for her, she can then open up, she can then share and vice versa. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel so safe. <laughs> I feel oh, so safe no. with Janice. I'm gonna cry. I feel safe with Janice. <laughs> I can tell her my heart. I can tell her everything. I can tell her my shortcomings, my fears, my insecurities. And for a man, we have those too. But to have a safe place where I can go that isn't some church pastor, it's not some men's group, it's my bride. And I gotta share with her. And even though it can be probably challenging for her at times to hear some of those hurts or insecurities or fears or shortcomings, she has covered it with such grace and such forgiveness and blessing. And it every time unites us further. We go, mm -hmm. we, we actually come away from it with a greater appreciation mm -hmm. for God's grace, his love for us, our love for one another. Um, it's just a beautiful thing. So guys, as you, our goal today with this, this, little, mm -hmm. this little time is just to say, are you 100% at a place of transparency and openness? Can you share your heart freely? with your spouse, about your finances, about intimacy, about your children, about your past, about your fears, about your insecurities, about your doubts, about whatever it is you're struggling or challenged with or whatever, or the joys or the things you anticipate. But if you can't today, have no fear. This is a journey and we grow in it. And we encourage you today to aspire to that and say, hey, that's our goal. We wanna be that 100% transparent couple that has total freedom, and we wanna go through the hard part of cleaning, like you said, that was such a great analogy, or metaphor, I'm gonna say, of you gotta clean that wound sometimes, if it's a wound, or the hurt, and it's sensitive, and you gotta be gentle, but it's painful, and you get through the other side. And, and nobody boy. wants to do it. You don't, but it's no, just, it's you never do fun. it. Yep. I mean, yeah. But again, that transparency is what builds intimacy. Yes. And when you see a joyful couple that it has true oneness, I truly believe they've reached a level of capability in transparency. Yeah. Okay. You know, and again, yeah. Yeah, because if you're just sweeping something under the rug and stuffing it in the closet, it's just one after another. And pretty soon you've got all of these skeletons in the closet and you're a mile apart. Yeah. And so you've got to just declutter it's like de-junking your room you yeah. know just start with an empty room get it all out is there more is there more is there more that's a good question to ask yeah is there more yeah. so let's just while we're in this space let's <laughs> yeah. just get it all out yeah. and start with a fresh plate so do it guys have courage have courage and um have we will courage. too we're going to continue yes. this journey we we, we are still we're, oh. we're so in it we're you know, in we're it. so in it. We've, we're in it with you. We've been in it mm -hmm. with you, and we're going to continue in it because this isn't something you do and are done. It requires ongoing cultivating and the short practice accounts. of short accounts and intimacy and transparency. Um, anyways, bless you as you continue down this path, and I would love to hear uh, how you grow in transparency. That this hopefully is helpful for you. Yeah. Look forward to more. And if, you've, if this has been helpful for you or you know of somebody who needs to be encouraged in this way, feel free to share this video. Absolutely. We just want to encourage and build up the body of Christ because Satan is after marriages and we are for them and We're the Lord them. is for them. Absolutely. And we want to help encourage the body of Christ. So that's all right. what this is all about. Enjoy. Yeah. Blessings, guys. Bye.